Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Unforeseen Incidents on iOS. And I'm gonna pick up where I left off. Enjoy. Hello? No visitors. You're that artist, Cardero, right? No visitors. Can I come in? No, no visitors. Leave! I need to talk to you. Too busy to talk. Goodbye. Why are you being so antisocial? No friends, no enemies, no visitors. You're not being very polite. Strangers not welcome. Open up, you hillbilly kook. Go away! I can tell when I'm not welcome. Speak to you later. A razor wire fence. Not so welcoming. A babbling brook of cool, clear mountain water. Just awful. Come back to me when you're cola, okay? The bunker looks pretty secure. The kind of place you'd go if you thought the world was ending. Maybe Cardero's not as crazy as people say. This doesn't feel like a pincer situation. I don't want to cut that. This doesn't feel like a... I don't think it's scissor time. Hi, Colonel. Stop calling me that. Hey, about that signal. Do you have a radio I can borrow for the triangulation? No portable radios, no. Sorry. Let's talk about something else. See you later. Goodbye. Hmm. The farmer's tractor looks in pretty good condition compared to that barn. I shouldn't touch it without knowing what kind of plant it is. A tall, wooden, barn-like structure. Its purpose, unknown. A metal tower silo for storing grain, I guess. Hello. Yep. What are you doing there? Protecting my farm, stranger. Storm knocked out the power. Lights ain't working. Electric fence ain't working. What do you need to protect your farm from? Wolves, coyotes, snapping turtles, all manner of varmints and carnivorous critters. Uh, I don't see any critters around here right now. You want bears trampling your flower beds? Be my guest. I'm gonna defend my property. So, uh, did lightning actually strike your house? Came mighty close. Killed the power. And my cows near enough soil their britches. <laughs> your cows wear britches? You definitely paid your electricity bill then? A gentleman always pays his dues. Then <laughs> I guess you should call the power company. Reckon I will if the power don't come back on soon. Nice radio. Mm-hmm. Would you mind if I borrowed it? No can do, stranger. As long as I'm stuck here, that radio's my only entertainment. But I really need a radio. Well, I reckon we could come to some kind of arrangement here. An arrangement? I'm real hungry. 
but I gotta stay here. Fetch me something good to eat, and I'll lend you my radio. What do you want to eat? You been to the diner? Rhonda fixes a fine sandwich. If you fetch me one with hot sauce, I reckon I can spare the radio for a time. Got it. I'll be back with your vittle soon, partner. Hmm. Don't make me use this firearm, boy. <laughs> nice big farmhouse. But would you really want to live out here in the middle of nowhere? I think it's an electric fence, but by the looks of things, the power is off. Hmm. Harwood Energy, discharge channel. Looks like the power company is channeling stormwater through this meadow. Yeah! Jesus! They should call that thing a scare harper. The stream is running pretty fast after all that rain. Wolves, bears, venomous snakes, poisonous insects, they're all out there, waiting. Huh, look at these little pepper pods. Hey, they smell good. Even with the power off, I don't want to climb over the fence. I've seen Jurassic Park. Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? Could I get me something to eat? Feels like I haven't eaten in a week. Well, you came to the right place. I make the best BLTs. Want to give one a try? Yeah, why not? You want sauce on that? What are the options? Classic tomato catsup, surprisingly mellow mustard, buffalo barbecue smoke, sweet lemon garlic mayonnaise, and super spicy chipotle lava. Give me some super spicy chipotle lava. Oh, darn it, I forgot. We're out of super spicy chipotle lava. Could you pick another sauce? Actually, uh, I changed my mind. Well, let me know if you get hungry. About that sound in the forest. Can you describe it again? It started with loud bangs, like an engine backfiring. Could it have been hunters shooting? I know gunshots, honey. This was like a huge engine, a kind of grinding roar. That's enough about the weird sound. I have a question about Colonel Jervis. What is it, honey? Let's talk about something else. Could I get me something to eat? Feels like I haven't eaten in... Well, you came to the right... Yeah, why not? You want sauce on that? What are the options? Classic to me. Hmm. Buffalo barbecue smoke for me. Ooh, good choice. Thanks. That's four ninety, please. Okie dokie. I wonder if this makes the sauce a bit more like super spicy chipotle lava. Hello. Yep. I better go. Mm-hmm. Here, I got you one of Rhonda's BLTs with hot sauce. Ah, now that's what I call hot sauce. Thanks, son. You can take the radio. Thank you. A deal's a deal. Yeah. 
no signal here. I should probably try somewhere higher. The farmhouse looks like a converted barn, but like uh, halfway through the conversion, they all went for coffee and never came back. I think it's but by the... Hmm, I'm not picking up that mysterious signal here. No signal here. I should probably try somewhere higher. Picking up that. I wonder how they stopped the grain going bad. Must be airtight or pressurized or something. I am 90% sure there are no dead bodies in that barn. I mean, I'm not going to check. I shouldn't collect random plants in the forest. They could be poisonous or whatnot. I shouldn't touch it without. I shouldn't collect random plants in the forest. They could be poisonous. I shouldn't touch it without knowing what kind of plant it is. This should be one of the highest places I can get to. Hmm, there must be higher places than this. Nah, I should pick the two highest points. This isn't one of them. Yeah, this looks like one of the highest spots in Greystone. Greystone Woods Conservation Sock. I shouldn't collect random plants in the forest. They could be poisonous. I wonder why they put the flag up. I guess it stops people walking off the edge by accident. Am I supposed to do something? Oh. The sky is clear now. Glad I wasn't up here during the thunderstorm. Uh, I don't need any stones. There are small branches basically everywhere. Okay, I think this place is where the signal is strongest from both positions. This must be where the signal is coming from. This place was like Fork Knox. Someone really didn't want people getting in. This forest is full of branches, leaves, and dirt. And they say I should sweep my place. The forest is dense here. You hardly notice the radio antenna until you're right in front of it. D. 
Huh, that might come in handy. This place was like Fork Knot. Someone defensed. This is where the weird signal is coming from. What's going on here? Uh, no signal here. I should probably try. St Hi, Colonel. Stop calling me that. I found your hidden radio station. You did? Was anyone still there? Nah, it looks empty. But there's a huge tree trunk blocking the entrance. I need to find a way of moving it. Can we use your car to tow the big tree away from the radio station? How big are we talking? Big. I'm surprised we can't see it from here. Forget it. Bessie wouldn't have the traction. You better find some other way to shift it. See you later. Goodbye. Hello. Yep. Could your tractor move a really big tree? I reckon she could do just that. She's a beast. Could I borrow it for a little while? Are you conversant with the phrase, when hell freezes over? Mm, yes. You understand the import of that saying? Y no. No one but me drives that tractor. And I can't leave this porch till that pair of prairie oysters at the hydro plant get the power going. Would you tow the tree if I got your power back on? Well, sure. I reckon I'd be obliged to you. I ain't got a cable winch, though. You better get yourself one. Okay. Where exactly is the hydro plant? It's up north, hard by Lake Delilah. You mentioned prairie oysters? The hydro plant is run by two brothers, always a feudin' and fightin'. Yeah, I, I think I met one of them. Probably at each other's throats instead of fixing my power. Have you heard of Cardero the artist? Artist? More like a crusty old shut-in. I've seen his art. It don't amount to much, if you ask me. I heard about some strange occurrences in the forest. Have you noticed anything odd? Mm-hmm. There's something happening out there, sure enough. Did you also hear a weird noise? No, but I saw something. What did you see? Couldn't rightly say what it was. A few nights ago, I dropped into the diner for a beer and a little supper. It was a clear night, so I figured I'd walk home, took a little shortcut through the forest, and then it came. This creature crashing out of the undergrowth. It was a, a beast, like I... I never saw before. A skunk ape. Looked kind of like a small bear, but with these black, greasy claws, acrid stench, wild, staring eyes. I get off a couple rounds, and its sky hoots off into the brush on all fours. Ooh, doggy! And its howl. Oh, a shrieking, blood curdling cry. Like he was throttling a fox. Intense, man. Any news about Yelltown fever? It's a crying shame, sure enough. I used to have an uncle in Yelltown, but that's what you get if you pack folk in like a cattle car. Disease spreads. It ain't natural. People need space, air. Yelltown is hardly the big city. What about Port Nicola? Never been. No plans to go. Did you ever see the beast again? Neither hide nor hair, thank the Lord. I sure hope I don't run into it. Rest easy, son. I ain't heard that howl since the night I saw it. I reckon I scared it clean out of Greystone. I better go. Mm-hmm. I wish I could just drive away, but I need to get that virus canister for Professor McBride. There's a lot of pipes around here. 
I wouldn't mind whipping out the old multi-tool and finding out how all this stuff works. But I guess I'm supposed to save the world or something. It looks like you have to type in a password or something to get in. Huh, no door handle. Parking for employees of Harwood Energy only. shouldn't touch it without more big industrial pipes. I guess that electricity doesn't generate itself. Positively no swimming. A pipe connoisseur could have a field day here. More, I guess that electric. The water levels must be high after the storm. These hardwood energy folks sure like their pipes. I wish I could just make them run. This pipe is cute. Hello! Massive pipes. Not sure what to do here. Imagine how much water must have come through here. I like psh, gurgle, gurgle, raw water. Fish and stuff. Damn! That's a pretty spectacular hunk of concrete. Damn! Hmm. The lights are on. Someone must be working late. That's a pretty spe What's it do? Damn! I talked to the guy at the diner, I think that was... What's up? Nothing much. Hey, did you know there's a whole farm with no power? <laughs> Not getting along so well without me, eh, Ed? Ed, I'm Harper. Edwin, my co-worker. Oh yeah, I remember. Sounds like a real bully. Yeah, well, if Ed's having trouble, that's music to my ears. <laughs> Maybe you should go back to work. No way. Do you know what his latest joke was? He actually changed my gate password to an insult. So he's making me insult myself before I even get through the gate. That's pretty darn low. What was your coworker's latest joke again? He actually changed my gate password to an insult. So he's making me insult. That's... Remind me why your coworker is such a bully. He's always criticizing me. Calling me stupid. Dimwit, doofus, klutz, telling me, go to hell, ragging on the stash? Not the stash! 
Catch you later. Bye. Okay. Hmm. What's up? Nothing much. Remind me why your coworker is such a bully? He's always criticizing me. Calling me stupid, dimwit, doofus, klutz. Telling me, go to hell. Ra Not the step. Doofus and klutz. Catch you later. Bye. How did you get in here? Harper Pendrel, handyman. I'm here to fix your power plant and whatnot. What? This is absurd. Did my dim-witted brother put you up to this? Your brother? Nelson. That idiot has gone too far, sending some goon in here to annoy me. Wait, Nelson Wiley is your brother? Nelson Wiley? The whiner in the diner? He's my brother, all right, but he takes after the catastrophically dumb side of the family. You've had your fun. Now get out and let me work. Did you know there's a nearby farm with no power? Oh, there is, is there? And you thought you'd just swing by and tell me how to do my job. <laughs> the whole plant is under huge pressure because of that darn thunderstorm. Connections blown. Water flow off the charts. Monitoring the pipe system is more than enough work for one person. I can't deal with distribution, too. Distribution is meant to be Nelson's job. Maybe I could help sort out distribution. Not in a million years! You think I'd let you stroll in here and operate sophisticated machinery? <laughs> I'd laugh if I wasn't mad as hell right now! Maybe you should ask Nelson to come back to work. The klutz master general? Never. You want to do me a favor? Tell Nelson to go jump in the lake. Jeez. Nelson was not exaggerating when he told me you were mean. You'd be mean too if you were dealing with all this pressure, figuratively and literally. What's your problem with Nelson? My problem? 
You obviously don't have a brother who's a lazy, clumsy elf. And that stupid mustache. He says you think you can do the job without him. You know what? I will do this without him. Better than having to clean up his messes all the time. Who's the elder brother? Who do you think? Well, you're the balder brother. <clears throat> I'm the older one. Knew it! You and Nelson give Cain and Abel a run for their money. I didn't take you for a biblical scholar. Biblical scholar? Uh, I was talking about the pro wrestlers. Where does that door go? That's the control room, where my good-for-nothing brother ought to be fixing the distribution system. Why don't you go through there and fix the distribution system yourself? Why don't you go French kiss a rattlesnake? I'm busy. I better get going. Good idea. This old computer looks like it's seen a lot of use. What's this note? None of your business. Huh. The label says CCTV Reservoir, but there's no picture. I guess the storm busted the feed. Coffee. I guess they pull a lot of all-nighters here. Hello? I thought I told you to scram. I better get going. Good idea. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what happens if I pull this. All right. The tech in this room is so dated, I almost feel at home. The door seems to be controlled by the panel to the side. Get away from there! What's up? Nothing much. You didn't tell me old Ed was your brother. Yeah, he is. So, you met him? Did he lay into you? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I told you. I hate the guy. Don't you want to bury the hatchet with Ed? You think I'd go crawling back after all those things he called me? No way. No, sir. I mean, I'd like to have my job back, but I don't want to give up my dignity. Would you forgive Ed and go back to work if he apologized? Are you kidding me? Ed would never apologize. He's too proud. He's expecting me to cave first, and that ain't gonna happen. Catch you later. Bye. Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? I have a question about Colonel Jervis. What is it, honey? Let's talk about something else. I was just about to leave. See you later, honey. Hello? I thought I told you to scram. Maybe you should ask Nelson to come back to work. The klutz math. You want to do me a favor? Jeez. You'd be figurative. I better get going. Good. Hi, Colonel. Stop calling me that. Say, can I take the cable winch from your car? I need it to remove the tree trunk from the radio station. I guess so, as long as I get it back. I promise. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye. Okay, so... How do I loosen this cable winch? I can't see how to use the screw... Hmm, that ain't... 
quite right. Okay, wild animals, come at me. I'm ready for you. Fence post ready. Yeah, phew, that's far too tight. And with the extra leverage, I might actually be able to loosen the winch. Ha! Physics! The ranger's pickup. I can just see Jervis tooling around the woods, terrifying everyone. Doesn't make sense to me. I can't make those things work together. I'd rather not. I'm gonna try talking to him again. Hello. Yep. I found a cable winch. Well, looky here. All right, I'll help you move that tree just as soon as the power's back on. Hmm. It's operational, but it doesn't look too well maintained. What do I do? I wish I could just drive, but I need to get that virus canister for Professor McBride. Hmm. Maybe off from coffee? I don't want to hassle him more than I have to. I don't need hydroplant coffee. I'm jittery enough already. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what happens if I pull this. All right. I feel like Blofeld should be stroking a cat somewhere near this monstrosity. What do you think you're doing? Control room. Guess that's where the action is. Hmm. How do I get them to apologize? Hmm. Let's see, maybe there's a use for this. You know what? Up close, you're kind of cute. And I don't see any crows around. Let's give you a little break. But I'm not getting you a brain. Oh. You'd kill us all. A Harwood energy sign. If this is supposed to be an advert, they have worse marketing than Leroy's junkyard. You know, you almost scared me to death. Yeah, don't look at me like that. Hmm. 
Yeesh, it does look a lot like a person floating in there. Hello? I thought I told you to scram. Hey, it looks like someone's swimming in the reservoir. What? No! When I said Nelson should jump in the lake, it's very dangerous to swim in the reservoir. Well, whoever's out there doesn't seem to be moving much. Oh, God! I have to get down there. And don't touch anything. What's this? Snars. Snars. Good to know our power stations are running such cutting edge tech. Huh. C N A R. I can just make out the lights along the dam. This panel seems to be flashing. Thank God they have one of these things here. I was starting to get worried. The pipes are rumbling and vibrating quietly. Giant computer. Check. Blinky lights. Check. Hmm. This panel seems to be flashing. Oh. There we go. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Fixing the distribution system. Uh, don't be ridiculous. The system is far too... Hold on. You actually did it. That's very impressive. You're hired. No, 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 no. I just wanted to fix the power. I don't want a job. Ugh. Uh, but the distribution system needs constant monitoring. If you leave, it'll just... See what I mean? It takes talent and commitment to do Nelson's job. Didn't you say Nelson was a useless doofus? Nelson drives me crazy, but I guess he was good at his job. I... I thought for a minute it might be Nelson down in the reservoir. Pick up the phone, man. Nelson's in the diner. You think? No, he'd never come back. He told me he wanted to go back to work. Well... Uh... Uh, hello? <clears throat> Can I speak to Nelson Wiley, please? Nelson. Uh, Nelson. Nelson. I... Tell him you're sorry. Nelson, I'm sorry you got so upset. Nelson! Go boil your head! Nelson, can't you see I'm trying to apologize here? Oh, really? Tell him you regret calling him names. 
Nelson, in the heat of the moment, I may have said one or two mean things. One or two mean things? Okay, okay. I'm a horrible groucher and I shouldn't have treated you like that. I'm sorry. Now use the word bro-workers. <sighs> Can we be bro-workers again? Oh yeah? Okay, brother. Well, what did he say? He's coming back to work. <laughs> yes! And I'm gonna try not to lose my temper so easily. Now get the hell out of my hydro plant before I call the cops! I wouldn't mind whipping out the old multi-tool and finding out how all this stuff works. But, I guess I'm supposed to save the world or something. This doesn't feel like a pincer situation. You missed it, stranger. Power's back on. I know. I actually helped. Reckon I'd be keeping vigil all night, and then click. Yeah, I was the one who... Guess those hardwood chuckleheads finally did something right. I guess they did. Now the power's back on. Can you help me move that tree? Well, you got that cable winch? I do indeed. What are we waiting for? Thanks, partner. Always glad to do a good turn, but, uh, a word of advice. Yes? Call me partner again and you'll lose a tooth. I thought we were gonna actually see it, but I guess not. got some serious hardware here, and a lot of this stuff looks new. I reckon they've retrofitted this place. There must have been people working here until very recently. Is that a book in the puddle? Hmm. It's half drowned, but it looks to be someone's diary. There's a username and password here. Some kind of storage tank? I sure wish Professor McBride was here. He'd be able to make sense of all this. Looks like that rain found its way down here. It's the symbol from the virus canister. So, whoever worked here is definitely connected to the attack in Yelltown, bastards. 
Time to switch off that damn signal. I guess this won't stop them attacking other towns, but it might slow them down, at least. the username supposed to be doing they've got some serious hardware here and a lot of this stuff looks new Thank you. 
All right. I guess that should do it. Hi, Colonel. Stop calling me that. I switched off the radio signal. Nice work. Maybe we can't stop the disease, but at least we've stopped their clarion. What else did you find? Eh, someone's diary, but nothing about who's really behind all this. Well, let's keep investigating the Cardero connection. I'm on it. See you later. Goodbye. Hmm. Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? Could I get me something to eat? Feels like I haven't eaten in a week. Well, you came to the right place. I make the best BLTs. Want to give one a try? Yeah, why not? You want sauce on that? What are the options? <sighs> Classic tomato ketchup. Buffalo barbecue smoke for me. Ooh, good choice. Thanks. <laughs> That's four ninety, please. Okie dokie. Hmm. Jeez, I think a unicorn threw up. Just one of these cupcakes would quadruple my caloric intake for the week. Boy, do they look good. Who decorated these? Liberace? Cupcakes, base of the food pyramid. Diabetes in a box. Rhonda really knows her stuff. My teeth are falling out just looking at these. Those are some of the finest cupcakes I've ever seen in the trunk of a stranger's car. Brown, whole grain, no icing. No topping. These look kind of boring. They must be the ones Rhonda fixed for Cardero. Okay, there we go. I can't believe Cardero lives out here all alone. But I guess it's not so different from my place back in Yelltown. Just better prepared for a Russian invasion. Hello? No visitors. I have some cupcakes for you. Please, just get out of cupcakes. Leave them on the ground. No way. Let me in. Nope. No visitors. Leave the cupcakes and go. I can't leave them out here in the woods. Health code violation. Health code violation. I can't leave these fine cupcakes in such an unsanitary forest. They could get covered with germs. Uh, okay, um, bring them through the gate. That Cardero guy must have dropped this. Hmm. Is that going to tell us about plants? The Dust Bowl Rider, a Sheriff Cardero adventure. Cardero. Hmm. This sculpture is like a creepy garden gnome made of molten metal. I don't trust it.
<laughs> this sculpture is like a massive eagle made of rusty sheet metal. This sculpture looks like a viking, or a priest, or something. Wow, even in the gloaming you can see for miles. Some kind of scrap metal sculpture in the shape of a sword. I shouldn't collect random. They could be poison. Hey, I thought you wanted your cupcakes. Just leave them by the door. What about the health regulations? Kadero's place is immaculately sanitary. Immaculate. Leave the cupcakes and go. I'll give you the cupcakes if we can talk face to face. No deal. Keep walking, Joe. Are you named after Cardero the Cowboy? Good. You you read Cardero books? Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Cardero. He's a mega brave cowboy, right? Actually, he's the sheriff. Mm -hmm. Fearless in the pursuit of justice. Do you think Sheriff Cardero would act all chicken if someone dropped by his place with cupcakes? Uh... Come on. Why don't you come out here and face these cupcakes? Mano a mano. Uh, well, um... Uh, wait there. Hello there. Hello. I saw some of your paintings in Rhonda's diner. Yeah. You're not an art critic, are you? No, no, no. I just noticed that they all have this strange symbol in them. No, 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 no. Cardero doesn't know anything about it. <laughs> Nothing. You must remember painting the symbol. No, no recollection. It's all gone. Locked deep down. Listen, I really need to find out what that symbol... No, you! Listen, Cardero can't put some things into words. Put it into art instead. Hit it away. Are you hiding from Yelltown fever? Uh, what's that? The horrible disease that's been all over the news? You must have heard. I I'm investigating it because... No! Stop! Hide! Don't seek! You hid something away. Something to do with that symbol? Took all the memories. Poured them into the masterpiece. Locked them away into... Ah, but you wouldn't understand. I would understand. I love arty farty crap. Tell me where you hid it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the triptych? The trip what? What are you talking about? If you truly wish to understand the art of Cardero, go back to the diner. See the three paintings. Misery, salvation, Dawn, the triptych. Talk to people. Learn the story. Find the meaning. Okay, so if I can get my head around this triptych, you'll tell me about the symbol, right? Cardero speaks through his art. Understand the triptych, and you may be ready to see the masterpiece. Jeez. Oh, I mean, thanks. So you do know something about Yelltown Fever? No. Cardero only knows how the story goes. Like every plague, every pestilence, you are weak. You will be consumed. You're a real ray of sunshine. You know that? If you're not hiding from the disease, then what? Hiding from the ghosts of memory. Right. To be clear, are the ghosts of memory literal ghosts? Is that a yes? Enjoy the cupcakes. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the diner. And... Take a break. Okay, 
So that is Unforeseen Incidents. Check it out. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.